Now, the secret is to keep it. Yes. Okay, how old are you? <laughs> 20. 20. See, at 20, you want to maintain and keep your hair a good full head of hair? Yeah. Right? Okay, so you take those uh, little precautions of, of maintaining a healthy scalp. You take the precautions of increasing your blood circulation all the time. How do you do that? Okay, so how do you do that? Very good question. You have, you have some arteries that run through here. You have two guys that run through here, and you have a couple that run up here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you're going to do when you're not sitting around, you're just doing this, feel the difference already? Yep. Huh? That's awesome. <laughs> huh? Did that feel good? Yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Hardest thing for the blood to do is go from this point to up here. Very hard for the blood to pump up, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you're doing this, this manipulation of drawing the blood up, okay? So what are you doing? You're bringing the blood up to the top. All right, and if you start moving their hands down, what are you doing? You're drawing the blood down. No, you don't want to do that. Why? Because the blood comes up and flows back down in right. this manner, right? Okay, so you're drawing the blood up, and then once you get the blood up, everything is to the back. Not, not this way, because now you're drawing the blood down. So now we're creating, getting the blood up there, okay? Drawing the blood up, and now what are we doing? We're stimulating and getting the blood right. circulating, okay? And that's the key to keeping your hair healthy. Because what is what is what is the, the food for for the growth of hair? Is blood. Yeah. Each one of these hair follicles, all right. Each one of these little hair follicles have a, a blood vessel attached to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. As the older you get, like my age, well, your 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 blood vessels start to shrink, right? But if you increase that blood circulation all the time, all right, how are they going to shrink? Because now you've got circulation going through them all the time, and they're open. Okay? People say, well, you got a nice head of hair. I said, yeah, because I've always been stimulating my hair, demonstrating, as I've been doing all my all my life. I've been doing it for 52 years. Yeah. So I demonstrate, okay, you just drive the blood up and, and, and create that that blood flow. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So you keep it keep it healthy and, and, and uh, keep it growing. I said, well, you don't, I said, I don't want my hair to grow. I said, yeah. I said, yes, you do. When you get my age, you're going to realize, hey, I want my hair. Yeah. Is there any baldness in your family? No. No? Okay. So that tells me one thing. There's good circulation in your family. When you start seeing that, you know, guys your age, you start you get a little bit thin right in through here, or maybe you can see the pattern. You can see that little pattern in through here. And then if you ask, well, you know, who's, is there any... Uh, uh, baldness in your family. So, oh yeah, my grandfather was bald, blah, blah, blah. Well, then it goes down to hereditary because then you can see that there's a pattern of baldness that's in the family right. itself. But how do you prevent that? Okay, instead of being going bald at 30, maybe you'll go bald at 50 or 60. See? Yeah. But if you were to keep with it, but it's like brushing your teeth. You got to do it, you got to do it all the time. You know, guy says, what? I said, no, you got to do it all the time. You just can't do it, and you can't just do it for you know three or four minutes. You got to do it for, for about five minutes, and then if you stimulate it now and then, it really helps. You know that makes sense. Yeah, so well, I could do it for about three minutes. Can I stand on my head? No, you can't stand on your head. That's not circulating. All you're doing is putting a bunch of blood up through your head, right? So you have to stimulate it and, and get it circulating. Yeah. Huh? No, no, you, you know, you, you don't think about those things because it's not, it's really, okay, if I'm not here to tell you about it, you're not going to think about it, no. you know? And I think that's some of the, the uh, conversations that that a lot of barbers should get into is, is the education as, of the aspects of, of uh, the health aspects of it. Not just being able to cut a head of hair, but to right. teach your clients how to maintain it in a healthier way. I think that's what makes me so unique, is because I'm able to teach that right. to my clients, not just for me, but to bring it on to you. Right. You know. Full service. So, yeah, it's the full service. You know.